All right, back again, uh, Luke here, and today what I want to do is kind of fulfill a, an old request video, and um, that was from Ultra Cupra. Now it's been quite some time since he's requested this, so hopefully he's gotten this all repaired by now. But uh, if by any chance he hasn't, hopefully this vid will help you out. Um, what he was having was uh, a few different problems with his uh, joysticks. He wasn't uh, able to get his joystick to go in one direction, I think, or the, uh, the switches were sticking. So uh, he asked me if I could make a video of it, and I told him I would, but just kind of getting to it now, so I apologize. But um, here uh, in front of me are actually a couple of different joysticks. Unfortunately, they make different kinds, a whole lot of different kinds, so I'll only be able to show you a couple here in... Uh, in uh, you know detail but the first one here this is a joystick for an Astro City and one thing you can notice is when you hold it up here next to the uh, Super Neo 29 joystick you'll notice that this one's a lot smaller than this one is and um, another thing about this joystick here is it has an integrated uh, kind of circuit board where all the micro switches are all soldered in and or all the switches are soldered in here and uh, they're soldered to one piece one board so if you just pop off the bottom you can pop off the switches and uh, easy removal the only problem is, is if one of these switches goes out uh, you have to desolder it and pull it out and it can be quite a hassle but uh, that's just one kind uh, the one that we'll focus on today will be uh, this one for the Super Neo 29 and uh, it's a little bit bulkier has a few more screws to to take out of it and a few more parts to clean but we'll uh, we'll focus on this one in the background here I got my uh, Fujitsu FM Towns 2 going and there's Ray's Amber in it so we'll just have that as like the background gaming stuff <laughs> but um, what you're gonna need for this is you need a pair of needle nose pliers you need a Phillips screwdriver uh, you'll need some steel wool to clean off the contacts on the switches, a pair of vice grips, uh, a black marker or some kind of marker, you can use white as well, uh, anything that'll show up, and a little bit of silicone grease, and uh, some kind of cleaner. You know, this is a, a stove cleaner. This one's actually used for cleaning fans and grease, but uh, it works all the same, and a, a rag of some kind. So. Uh, what I usually do with these uh, joysticks is, especially for the Super Neo 29, is just to make sure that you put everything back in the right place, what I do is I take a marker, and as you can see, this one's already had uh, some markings put on it. But uh, I'll go around and I'll put markings on it and uh, try to put them in different places here to make it easier to take this thing apart. So you can just, you know, pop it back together so you have different lines here uh, separating each one. And then it has three different layers, so once you take this piece off, there'll be one more under that, and then there'll be the steel plate here. So just try to mark it up, make sure it's all marked up before you take it apart, um, unless you're really confident when you put it back together that you're not going to uh, make any mistakes when you put it back together. It's just a really easy way to do it. Um, the first step here, what I like to do is uh, there's this retaining clip on the bottom here, and this thing is quite tough uh, to get off usually, and uh, even worse to put back on, but uh, you kind of got to bend it around here, or you can use a pair of needle nose pliers to uh, sometimes get in between, and uh, you need to get this clip off in order to get the uh, this stick off, and unfortunately I'm just kind of going to move away from the camera here because I don't want anything to go flying into the camera, but All right. Once you get the uh, the clip off, which uh, you have to do a little bit of prying, uh, this bottom part might come shooting off as well. And uh, that bottom part is actually attached on here. And what this does is it makes contact with the uh, with the switches on the inside. So you'll notice on the inside of here, if you look, you can see all the different switches and all the tabs. So when you move it up and left and right. Uh, it clicks each one of these tabs. So this piece is fairly important. You don't want to lose this uh, at all. And once you get that out, what you'll be able to do is you should be able to pull the top part of your joystick out now. And uh, you can clean that up because that's probably going to be pretty, uh, pretty grimy as this one actually is. Uh, you can set that one aside. Use your uh, 
your towel to clean that up. And when you look on the inside here, the thing that you'll probably notice is that this is really nasty, uh, or really dirty, depending on if you get your arcade machine used or if you get it new, um, it'll be a pretty big difference, but also depending on how you play it or um, if you have kids around, things like that, stuff gets dropped in it, and they can get pretty nasty. So what you want to do is take out the parts here. Um, there's a part here in the top and then the part in the bottom which is the other half of the uh, the joystick and this thing should pop right out and uh, you know these things don't look very pretty at all they're pretty nasty so what you want to do is first off you can just take your spray and uh, you know your spray cleaner and you know spray it on your cloth here and take these parts and kind of clean them up as best as you can. You can also, you know, do this in uh, in your sink or something. Use uh, soap to clean these things up. Anything will work, just as long as you get all of the dirt off of it and get it so that it's not so uh, nasty. And, uh, you know, the key point here is like dirt and any sort of grime or anything like that on the inside is really gonna make a, a small situation or something that seems like very simple into a big problem especially when you can't move left or right um, because of the fact that uh, it's just some dirt blocking the way but you know try to clean it up as good as you can it doesn't have to be super perfect you know but um, just as an example you know try to clean it up get off as many of the uh, the huge dirt chunks off of it as you can you know and then do the same for the other part as well you know clean it up and once you get both both sides or both parts cleaned up you can just set them aside uh, those things we'll wind up uh, using later and then we'll go back here over to uh, the rest of our base unit and this base unit is something that you wanna you're gonna wanna clean up as well but um, that's something you can do later on We'll take off all the screws. There's actually going to be more screws than this in the bottom here, uh, but I've already taken out a lot of the screws. Like I said, the key part is to make sure that you uh, you mark it. Uh, that way you don't have to remember, oh, wait, was that in this spot or was that in another spot? Um, you can just easily put it back together. If you want to use different colors too, that works as well. Uh, make one line one color and another line another color, and that way you can uh, you can easily put it back together. But Here's the first part which comes off and here's the second part which also comes off. If you want to you can take the second part and the uh, the, the bottom part off as a, a set and you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about what position it's in. Uh, just make sure you lift off on it really lightly as soon as you take the screws out. All right, lift off on it really lightly and Voila, here's the, uh, the switches to the bottom here. Now each one of these switches can be pulled right out. Um, there's nothing really holding it in, but um, you know, you wanna take each one of these switches out, clean the switch up, you know, uh, spray it down. Once you get the switch all cleaned up uh, in, in good working order, test it, make sure it's working all right. And uh, if there's any play in it, what you can do is you can bend this tab up just a little bit and uh, it'll give you uh, it'll give you a little bit more there and uh, when you put the joystick back together it'll work a lot better so you can always bend that up that's a good point point. and on the contacts of these things um, as you notice they might be a little bit uh, dirty so take your steel wool and uh, clean them up you know try to shine them up as good as you can and you know with a little bit of steel wool you can get the the contact points looking like that once you get everything all cleaned up put uh, put your uh, board back together put all the switches back in and uh, you'll use your your white grease here uh, put it around the bottom also in the inside up in the top here once you get the top all cleaned out you'll want to put it around in here put your joystick back together and uh, yeah just the opposite of the way take you, you took it apart and you'll be back on your way to gaming in no time flat so just a sh short uh, tutorial video on how you can uh, clean up your joysticks, get them to work all right. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll help you out a little bit. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching.